Baseball is a great sport and one of the most played. Everyone in the world plays it. Kids should play it because if they are really good, you get to play on or against better teams. And if you are really good, you can play against older kids who are better and can learn from their experience from them. They can also discipline you on not giving up even though they are bigger and stronger. What is your name? Tyler Manio. Do you play baseball? Yes, sir. Who do you play for? La Cueva High School. Do you plan to go pro? Yes, sir. If so, what team? Ooh, Cleveland Indians. When did you start playing? Uh, I started playing ever since I could pick up a baseball bat. How fast do you throw? I'm topping out 89, but I'm close to 90. How many home runs do you have? My career, couple, recently three because I'm not allowed to hit. When do you practice for college? Um, when? <laughs> Every day. It's an everyday grind. In 1846, the Knickerbockers played the first official game of baseball against a team of cricket players. What's your name? Trey. Do you play baseball? Yeah. Who for? The Heat. Do you plan to go pro? Probably not. Why did you start playing baseball? Um, because I just started to, and I don't know, and I just liked it. How fast do you throw? Probably only like 60 miles an hour. How many home runs do you have? What is your name? Jaden. Do you play baseball? Yes. Who do you play for? Uh, Duke City Heat. Do you plan to go pro? Hopefully, maybe. Probably not. If so, what team? The Dodgers. When did you start playing? Uh, when I was five. How fast do you throw? Uh, 70. How many home runs do you have? Uh, I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> the New York Yankees have the most World Series with What is your name? Do you play baseball? Yeah. What team do you play for? I'm from the Duke City Nationals. You plan to go pro? Yeah. What team? Los Angeles Dodgers. There are 30 MLB teams. What's your name? Uh, Mr. Garcia. Have you ever played baseball before? Um, yeah, I played geez, baseball from, I think, like when I was in elementary school all the way up to high school. And then I would say the JV team um, in California is when I started to kind of get in trouble. And then I didn't have the grades to really cut and make the team. So I got kicked off my JV year. What high school did you go to? Um, so in California, um, it was the, it was called NU Nevada Union Minors, which was the, the high school. And then in Taos, it was just the Taos Tigers, uh, high school team. And, um, California team was big. It was a big campus, big school. We had something like 4,000 kids, maybe 5,000, something like that. And then when I went to Taos, it was like 700 kids. So it's like half the size. Why did you quit playing baseball? Um, well, again, like I got kicked off when I was in high school, kicked off the team. And uh, I, I think at that point I was just bummed with school in general. I wasn't quite really digging it too much. And you have to have good grades to play baseball, at least in California it did. And um, so I was just kind of bummed at my coaches and everything. And then I stopped playing and uh, I didn't really pick up baseball again until I got a little bit older and started playing like in a men's league, which is fun and it was just, you know, kind of fun. But again, I just wasn't disciplined enough when I was in high school for it. Would you go back and play baseball to this day? Um, yeah, there was a lot of things I, I would have liked. To, I mean, I don't regret kind of the things that I did, you know, the choices I made when I was younger because it kind of got me where I'm at now. And it, it made me kind of think about, you know, how to like work hard for something and how not to give up on something by making those mistakes. But I definitely think like if I was to go over and do it over again, I probably would have taken baseball and sports and, and schoolwork a little bit more seriously. Thank you. Oh. Nolan Records holds the record for the most strikeout. Hi, what is your name? Joaquin Casals. Do you play baseball? Yes. Why do you like baseball? Because I'm good at it. Do you plan to go pro? Yes. If so, what team? The Yankees. Thank you. What is your name? Uh, my name is Mr. Field. Have you played baseball? Yeah, I played baseball when I was uh, younger, a lot younger in you know elementary school, um, a little bit in middle school, and then some in high school. Did you enjoy the sport? 
Yeah, I like baseball. Um, baseball, I mean, it's a lot of pressure. It's it's interesting because it's that team sport dynamic. But you know, when you're uh, when you're playing offense, sitting at the plate, it's really all on you. So uh, could definitely be a little bit more stressful than some other sports that are very much team oriented, right? Where you know you can't you can't pass the ball, catch the ball, tackle. You know, in a football analogy there. Um, so I, I did enjoy it, uh, but it was definitely. A lot of pressure, I think, sometimes. What team did you play for? Uh, so I played for Lobo Little League in in my younger years. Made the all-star team on that a few times. Uh, and then I played at Sandia High School. Who, motiv- Ryan, who you motivated Bobby? you to play? Uh, you know, I mean, my mom was kind of just letting me play whatever I wanted to play. Um, Baseball was something that interested me. She played softball when when I was younger, um, and then also when she was younger. Um, but she also, you know, she never pushed me to one sport or another. She really let me try out a variety of different things. Um, but I'd say, you know, that was supportive. I think as a parent, it's awesome to Brian, to let me? your sorry, my radio's going off to let your kid try different things because you know they don't know what they don't know. And so that was probably my main motivator there. Who's your favorite player and team? That's a good question. Uh, well, I'm a big Red Sox fan. Uh, Boston all day. As far as my favorite player, oy, that's a tough one. Um, I mean, current players or just, just players? All time. All time. Uh, you know, I'm going to go with Big Poppy. Uh, dude's got some sticks, killer offense, um, slow, fat. Uh, but you know what? That's that's cool. It works out for him. Uh, put those those balls over the green monster all day long. Did you have any thoughts of going pro? Uh, you know, I mean, I, I think probably any kid playing youth sports has an idea that they'd love to to go pro. I mean, isn't that that's like the dream, right? Is uh, being a successful athlete, making all that money, um, living the dream, par- partying with your friends. Uh, you know, two hundred and whatever games a year. Um, but you know, frankly, I, I realized later that I, I definitely did not have the skills or ability to go pro in baseball. Um, but yeah, would have been nice. Why did you stop playing? Um, that's a good question. I'm thinking, you know, in high school, I just kind of started focusing on other sports. Um, baseball, I really, I only played freshman baseball. Um, and we had a good coach. We had a good team. Um, uh, but I, I started focusing more on, on football and, and actually I got really heavily into like BMX, um, more extreme stuff, snowboarding and um, baseball just kind of took a back seat. Baseball. Mm-hmm. Now, Alex Bregman, I knew when he was your age presently. And let's le- use Alex Bregman's development to the highest echelon in professional baseball, World Series ring, um, all-star, you know, making millions of dollars. Yeah. How did that happen? Okay. Well, that'll be a simple for you. Alex said in, in eighth grade, I was coaching a summer camp at University of New Mexico, and Alex was at my camp. And um, he asked me, he goes, how do I get to the big leagues? So I had, you have to decide, okay? You have to decide, no matter whether it's baseball or whatever you want to do, you have to decide at a young age that that's a burning desire in you, and I want to make it. Whatever it is, being a doctor, being a nurse, being a professional baseball player. Now, people don't know what it really takes, and it takes a lot. But if you have the passion, it doesn't seem like hard work. So I made him a, an annual schedule. So for all kids to learn, what they need to do is get a, a calendar book and plan out the whole year in their mind. Because if you write a plan down, it has a better chance of becoming reality. So with Alex, I told him that, and you have to decide today. And he even uses that speech now. He's used it on national TV that Coach Birmingham made me decide. Coach Birmingham won't got me organized. Coach Birmingham. So I'm telling you exactly what I told Alex Bregman. Organize your life. If you want to do this, The next eighth grade, ninth grade, three years of high school, four years of college, three years of college, 
the next six to 10 years are essential that you stay on your plan and then you make a really good plan. So with that said, I said, your grades have to improve. And he got his grades up. I said, you got to start exercising. You got to start lifting. You got to lift with somebody that knows what they're doing. You got to start working about your diet. You got to work. You have to have a great work ethic. You got to get up early in the morning workout before school, all these things. And I said, the first step of all this organization, of all the things necessary to play professional baseball is can you get up every day the rest of your life and make your bed? because everybody in your classroom does not make their bed when they get up in the morning. And that's called self-discipline. Can I make myself do it every day? And there are very few people that can do that because really and truly people choose what they are in life. If they choose to be exceptional and they really, really, really choose it, they'll go to work right now and do it every day. And doing it every day is the key. That's why you have the annual calendar. So he still has those calendar books from 2010. Mm. Yeah. So organize, make a plan, and follow the plan religiously. Now. So if you want to play baseball in college, you better make good grades. Because college doesn't have full scholarships. They're going to have half scholarships and they're gonna give you the other half of your money because your academics are really good. So you gotta be smart to be a baseball player. You gotta play, you gotta be smart. Now, to be a good baseball player, you gotta practice all the time. Now, you guys have YouTube all the time and you can look on YouTube and see what to do. But it's a, baseball basically is proper repetition, continual proper repetition. So lots of ground balls, lots of fly balls, Lots of playing catch, lots of throwing the ball the right way, lots of running, and lots of hitting. So the five tools are, for a baseball player, are one, glove, are you a good glove guy? Two, are you, do you have a good arm? And you can develop a good arm by proper practice. And the, you'll, you'll look that up. Three, can you run? Are you a decent runner? Can you run pretty good? And you can do some things to improve your speed that guys don't do every day, like running inclines every day. Nobody does that. Four, can you hit? And they mean by hit is play discipline and can you always make contact when you swing the bat? And five, the last one is power. If you have those five tools, fielding, throwing, running, hitting, and power, if you have those five tools or if you just have one of them, that's exceptional over everybody else in the country, they'll take you. If you have five, they'll give you lots of money. Thank you. <laughs>